I can't stress this enough. Exiting the fast is far more important than entering the fast. Okay, just come as no surprise that the two most critical minerals that you need after a dry fast are magnesium and potassium. You see, potassium is so essential for nerve conduction and, uh, and heart rate and metabolic processes like synapses and stuff. Uh, it's about half of what the cationic minerals are in your uh, blood along with magnesium. Um, magnesium, potassium, and sodium all play intimate roles with each other, especially with calcium. So your potassium and your magnesium needs are intense. That's why during a dry fast, if you're still using two to 400 milligrams of uh, magnesium during the fast, so you've used that all up by the time you're done with the fast, uh, it's, or severely depleted your amount. Um, when those nutrients and electrolytes go down, uh, function starts decreasing. You start getting tired. You're, have uh, you know irregular heartbeats you have you know, all kinds of problems with magnesium and potassium imbalances and depletion in the system uh, the cramps the headaches the sleepless nights that stuff could be from those getting uh, an early depletion in the dry fast I mean you can get online and get these videos on these electrolytes by a thousand different guys with great detail about what they individually do for the body and so forth but I want to focus this to dry fasting so when you dry fast, these electrolytes are depleted to keep your body working. Yeah, you're tapping fat for fuel, you're making water with the ATP synthesis process, and you're getting you know, plasma glucose and the glycerol from your fat. You're getting all this stuff that keeps your brain, your blood, and your system working, and stem cells regenerating. But at the same time, you're still metabolizing. You're using these minerals for metabolism, and, and you're gonna get rid of the stuff during the dry fast. You must replenish it at the end of the dry fast. Instead of a carbonate and water, Get that sodium in so you don't get edema. Get the potassium magnesium in. Get that in so you have plenty of energy. You're able to sleep at night. You don't have muscle twitches, all that kind of stuff. Um, prevent that from happening. Don't wait till it happens. <laughs> you know, prevent that from happening. And uh, that's kind of the message here is this, these three minerals I talked about, sodium, potassium, magnesium, you need them for everything. I mean, magnesium is used to make ATP, your complete energy uh, currency in the body. ATP is one of these things that require magnesium. All day long, this is happening in the electron transport chain inside the mitochondria in your cell. And there's hundreds to thousands to tens of thousands of these mitochondria in cells, depending if they're in your brain, they're in your kidneys, they're in your heart. You have a whole bunch of different mitochondria there for the energy requirements in that organ. You need magnesium for those to have energy for the body. Um, I'm, you know, I can't stress this enough. Exiting the fast is far more important than entering the fast. So if you get anything from these videos, the last couple of videos, you need to get your electrolytes up after the dry fast. In fact, it might not be a bad idea, depending on how good or poor your diet is, to load up a little bit on magnesium, potassium before you go into a dry fast. You know, just an idea. It's it just, there's no scientific basis behind it. It just makes logical sense. If you're going to deplete them and you can't eat them while you're fasting, get some in beforehand so you have a little bit of surplus to draw from. Maybe it'll stop the, um, the sleepless nights, um, aches and pains, um, things like that, irregular heartbeats, all the things we see in dry fasting. It seems to be normal to the Russians, but it could just be ionic mineral depletion. Makes sense to me since I. I'm all about the minerals, and uh, that's about it for the day. I'll be talking to you soon, and uh, I'll be going out of the country for a week. I should be back. I may try to put videos up uh, while I'm away, but I doubt it'll happen. Anyway, talk to you when I get back. Have a great day. Yes? We have a message. Can you remind people to subscribe, please, sir? What now? Please. Oh, very well. If 